So something you'll certainly be asked to do on your midterm is arithmetic with functions. Sometimes I'll have it all in x's and sometimes I'll be plugging in numbers. Rule of thumb is if you have f of x plus g and then what comes after it is a variable, in this case an x, then your answer is going to usually be an expression that has x's in it. If, however, I stick a number in here, then your answer is also a number. For right now, we're going to use f of x equals x squared plus 5x plus 6 and g of x equals 2x minus 3. So chapter 13 tells us that we can add these two functions together and come up with a new function. And it's very intuitive. There's only one part that can trick students, so I will point that out to you. But f plus g of x is the same thing as f of x plus g of x. So to find it, I just add the two left sides and combine like terms. So for gory detail on the first one, there's f of x, here's g of x, and then for my answer, I will combine those like terms. So 5x plus 2x is 7x, and 6 minus 3 is plus 3. So my new function, f plus g of x equals. Trouble is that they think this looks like multiplication. So this is not, sorry, this is like multiplication. It's just telling you that for this function, x is the variable. Likewise, I might ask you to find f minus g of x. Again, this is f of x minus g of x. So this one, again, here's f, and I'm going to point out a place you need to be careful. Get ready. I'm subtracting off all of g of x. So g of x has more than one piece, so I'm going to put it in parentheses so that I'm very careful about taking that negative sign through. So we're going to get x squared plus 5x plus 6 minus 2x, and then the minus a negative 3 makes that plus 3. Then again, combine like terms. So x squared plus 3x, 6 plus 3 is plus 9. So my new function is that. Now, something that's super cool is let's say I have, let me grab a different color here. I ask you, what is f of 2? And I ask, what is g of 2? I can now see that those aren't showing up. So f of 2 and g of 2. So remember, we evaluate functions by plugging the 2 in for your x's. I'll let you guys catch up with that. Let's see, 4 plus 10 plus 6 would be 20. g of 2, 4 minus 1 is 1. If I would ask you to find f plus g of 2, you can get that two ways. One, you could do f of 2 plus g of 2, because I have those numbers. 20 plus 1 is 21. That's the same answer I'm going to get if I plug a 2 in up here. 2 squared plus 7 times 2 plus 3. That should be 21. 4 plus 14 plus 3. 7 plus 14 is, in fact, 21. Same thing, f minus g of 2 should be 19. which we'd get if we plug a 2 in here.